Nothing like a little suspense on election night, right? <laughs> um, I want to thank you all so much. I have said from the beginning that this campaign is not about me. This campaign is about fighting for working people and bring, bringing Rhode Island values to Washington. And thanks to you, that is exactly what we are going to do. You have my commitment. You have my commitment that I will always fight for working people, for better wages, for better health care and benefits, fight for reproductive freedom, fight for a transition for a transition to affordable clean energy and fight fight to preserve our democracy for the next generation and the generation after that and on and on and on. I have to, I have to make a, a few thank yous. First, to our state treasury team. Uh, over the last eight years, we have done some incredible things together. We launched a statewide school construction program that is repairing hundreds of schools. We helped victims of domestic violence get to safety. We made historic investments in clean energy. We divested from assault weapons and reunited thousands of Rhode Islanders with their missing money and managed the state pension fund to an all-time high. To every member of that team for the last eight years, thank you for your hard work. I can say thanks to all of you. I can say to the people of Rhode Island tonight that the state's finances are stronger today than they were eight years ago, and that is because of each of you. To our incredible campaign staff and volunteers, to everyone, everyone who phone banked and knocked on doors and pounded the pavement. Thank you so much. Listen. Listen. We were behind in every single poll. Every single, every single poll. Every single pundit. Every single pundit thought we were going to lose, but you never stopped believing. You never stopped working. You never stopped believing. And because of you, we got this done. So, to all, to all of our volunteers and staff, thank you for not giving up. Thank you for fighting what you believe in. For what you believe in. the best campaign manager anyone could ask for. Thank you. To our partners in organized labor, thank you for everything you do for Rhode Islanders. I am proud to stand with you. To my family, to my family, let me start with my parents. It is from you that I learned the value and the importance of public service. You have had to put up with a lot of ugliness and a lot of nonsense that you didn't deserve, but you never complained once, and you always supported me, and I am tremendously grateful to you. It's my dad's birthday today, by the way. He's 75. Say happy birthday. To my incredible wife, Julia, I could not ask for a better partner. I love you. And finally, and finally, and most of all, to the people of Rhode Island, thank you for putting your faith in me. You have my commitment that I will fight hard for our state. I will fight to make it easier for working people to get ahead. I will fight to bring Rhode Island values to Washington. We are a small state. We are a scrappy state. But we are the best state. And it is an honor to represent you. Thank you so much, Rhode Island. I appreciate it.
congratulate Alan Fung on a hard-fought campaign and thank him for his career in public service to Rhode Island. It is a hard calling, but it is a noble calling, so thank you, Alan. Uh, listen, I am in this to represent all Rhode Islanders, regardless of party. You have my commitment. I will not stop fighting for you. Thank you all very much. I appreciate you. It's an honor to serve. Thank you, Rhode Island.